pro players edit extremely fast, and while skill is the biggest factor, there are two hidden keyboard settings that give them an extra edge, custom actuation and rapid trigger. But to use these for yourselves, you'll need to have an esports grade keyboard from brands like Wooten, SteelSeries, Razer and many more, because normal mechanical keyboards that you'll find on Amazon only have the basic features. Starting off with the custom actuation, this setting allows you to control how far a key needs to be pressed before it registers as an input. On a normal mechanical keyboard, the actuation point is fixed at around 2 to 3 millimeters. but as you can see with these eSport level keyboards, in the software you can set it anywhere from very very low and sensitive of 0.1 to something more standard like 3 or 4. If you do go to 0.1, you'll see you barely have to press a key for it to activate. This is the fastest one and I think pros like Mongrel and Mr. Savage both use this. If you are going to try this for yourselves, do be warned that it is extremely sensitive and it will take like one to three weeks to get used to. I would recommend only setting up a few keys like your edit key first to get used to it. Don't set all the keys to like 0.1. I definitely think with this, it needs to be a gradual process because it just takes that long to get used to it. That's also why you'll find that a lot of pros don't use the fastest one, so they don't use 0.1. Peter Bot, known as the greatest player in the world right now, he is currently using 0.2. Then you've got other pros like Cold, who is playing 0.4. I myself personally have been trying to go to 0.5 for quite a while, but it's taken a lot more practice than I thought it would. Overall though, the custom actuation points are personal preference. Everyone has their own sensitivity that they do prefer. However, there is no denying that using a lower actuation point can make you much faster at building and editing. Because with a lower actuation point, it makes the key presses feel way snappier, as ultimately there is less delay between you pressing a key and it registering as an input. That's why this feature in particular gives pros an extra edge. Now if we move over to Rapid Trigger, this setting lets your key reset instantly the moment you lift your finger, instead of having to fully release it before pressing again. On a normal keyboard, once you press a key, you have to lift it all the way back up before it resets, but with Rapid Trigger, the key resets as soon as you slightly release it, allowing you to spam the key much faster. A lot of pros tend to use this on specific keys, like the movement keys for example, however in Fortnite this isn't ideal for movement as it can mess with the momentum, but in other games like Valorant it can help with faster strafing and quick direction changes. In Fortnite it's best to be used with the edit key only, just like Peterbot uses. When it's used for editing, it allows allows pros to spam their edit key more efficiently, as like I explained earlier, it just makes everything feel much faster and responsive. In certain softwares like the Wooten keyboards, you can also configure separate press slash release sensitivity as well, which is nice. However, not every pro uses this. Like if we take Cold for example, he doesn't use Rapid Trigger at all. This shows that while it's a strong setting, it does ultimately come down to personal preference. So to conclude, custom actuation and Rapid Trigger aren't just gimmicks. These settings do actually help pros. Think of them as an add-on to their incredible skill. I would love to know though if you yourself are using a custom actuation or rapid trigger, and if not, would you try both of these out? Before you do go though, check out any of my other videos on screen right now.